All right, so I'm walking you through a leg routine. And as you can see right now, whilst doing, a, whilst doing this uh, leg routine on the, on, the Smith, on the Smith machine, it's important that you get all the way down. If you're using a weight that you can hardly lift, that you can't go all the way down with, you need to lighten the load. Nothing wrong with going light, getting the form down back, and then increasing the weight after, after you've gotten the hang of it. Now, after you've gotten used to that weight, um, I welcome you, <laughs> I even urge you to go up. You can go, go, go up a, a little on the weight. And as you can see that I'm maintaining my form. I'm not breaking form because what I did from I started, I started with little to, to no weight and then I gradually increased it. One of my next favorite machines is the leg extensions. Because if you want to isolate your quads, you want to you wanna always use, use the, the, the leg extension extension machine this uh, gives you that this this give you gives 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 you a quad that four dimensional look because because quads the reason why they call it quads is because it has four uh, muscle four different muscle groups four different muscles that are make up the uh, uh, the uh, quads oh yeah these guys <laughs> Yeah, one of the machines I dislike, but but hey, in a leg day, you shouldn't skip shouldn't skip leg day, and you should always add this leg press routine to your journey. Oh yeah, and don't forget those calf raises. <laughs> Nothing worse than seeing someone with a big upper body and little small legs. Trust me, calf raises do the trick.